Hi, my name is Ronak. Today, I'm going to give a seminar on the topic light. So, light is very easiest chapter, and it's quite interesting. So, do you think how we are able to see how the objects are visible to us, how the light passes? So, with reading this chapter, we will be able to know how the light passes, how the light is, what is the light. Will the we will start a seminar with the what is light. Light is an electromagnetic waves which travels in the straight line. Refraction of light When light falls on a surface and is reflected back into the same medium we say reflection take place example in the mirror Place two glasses side by side. Place the pencils in the glasses. Note that the pencils look straight in both the glasses. Now pour water in one of the glasses. What do you see? The pencil appears bent at the boundary between air and glass. But is the pencil really bent? No. This apparent bending of the pencil is because the speed of light is different in water and air. So the light coming from one part of the pencil lying below the water changes its direction on coming out into the air. This phenomenon of bending of light at the interface of two media is commonly known as refraction of light. The extent of the change in direction that takes place in a given pair of media is dependent on the refractive index of the two media. Refraction of light When light travels from one medium to the another medium It bends from original path It bends from original path This is a reflection of light
<sighs> wow, what an amazing car. <laughs> but your rear view mirror is missing. Huh? No, don't use a mm. concave mirror. Ah. It will usually show you magnified images. Oh. <laughs> Why don't you listen to me? Mm -hmm. Huh? Ah! See, I was correct. Mm. Now put the convex mirror and see yeah. the result. Mm. Oh. Look, the image is much smaller, <laughs> right? Do you know what the difference between the two mirrors was? If we use a concave mirror for our car, we will not be able to see the vehicles behind us properly. This is because the concave mirror will magnify the object and we will see a very enlarged image. Thus, we require a mirror which gives us a wider view of the vehicles behind us. In this case, a convex mirror proves to be the right choice. This is because a convex mirror forms a highly diminished image, thus making the traffic look much smaller. As a result, we can see a large number of vehicles in a very small mirror. To the mirror at the point of incidence and the reflection ray all lies in the same plane. Spherical mirrors. Oh, spherical mirror is a mirror which has the shape of a piece cut off, piece cut off spherical surface. And there are two types of spherical mirrors, and they are concave and convex